Great evening, great afternoon, great morning. Welcome to Moments of Mind, Scent, Flow, State. I am your host, your guide, Rodney Williams. If you are just now hearing my voice for the first time at this hour and wondering what in the world he normally does moments of mindset prince perry welcome welcome i'm glad that you were here funny funny story but if you're wondering what flow state is this is just an opportunity for me to share my thoughts from experiences that i've had recently that's continuing to shape that's continuing to mold me help me in my evolution so that I can continue to be what I created as a new concept, a new ideal for me to achieve. And that's what flow state is about. I don't take guests. It's just me sharing, you know, I'm actually recording on multiple platforms, just kind of trying it out, testing it out. And it's funny. And the reason why I'm laughing, I was messaging back and forth with Prince Perry a few moments ago, a half an hour ago before, and I was telling him I was about to record on Spreaker and I was going to go live, you know, and as supportive as he always is. And hey, if you all are not following Noble Ron, I call him Prince Perry. We've created our own um, spiritual court, if your community court with the angelic queen of kudos and um, the maid Marion of the crew, Graciela Moore, everybody, right? It's just a family, it's just fun just kind of messing around and he and I were messaging and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to go live on Spreaker. Why not just do it? Well, currently there's a limitation to the amount of time to do live, right? I'm used to being here in the wisdom community and just record, we go and then we stop whenever the thoughts are no longer flowing out. Right. And so I said, okay, I went live. I did 15 minutes It stopped me, cut me off in 15 minutes. I was really just getting into the bolts of what I wanted to share. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm not going to go live. I'll just record it because I'm thinking that I can have an unlimited time recording. No, that's still 15 minutes to add a click on that app, right? And I understand short form or what have you. And so I then went another 15 minutes, cut off. I said, you know what? Let me just go back home back to wisdom hit the record button because i know without a shadow of a doubt i can go for as long as needed to share whatever it has been on my heart given to me to actually share right and so thank you to everyone that's listening now that'll listen in the future that'll pass it down you know shout out to everyone that's close to me that loves me that supports me that honors me along this journey and as members of the community you all have been huge catalysts in my growth i was already creating momentum but there was a gap there was a space there was a unity that was missing a common unity a community where i could grow i could be me i can share my thoughts Judgment or not judgment, you're free to choose. But I'm in a space of not judging myself. I'd been there for decades. And so now wanting to share my experiences, my thoughts, my insights, what I felt from that past, because there's healing from that. So now which those things that I was afraid of are now points of references and I can speak about them in a context to convey how I navigated through certain situations in my life. And so the subject tonight, no doubt, there is no room, no vacancy, no space for doubt in your life, in your sphere. And there's a myriad of authors that I read, Neville Goddard, Power of Awareness, Michael Bernard Beckwith, Dr. Wayne Dyer, you, the list goes on and on and on, right? But what I make sure to do is how do those words tie into my experience? Because if I don't tie it into my experience, then what is it all worth? Just knowledge, just theory, just philosophy, without there being anything applicable 
to give proof of life, proof that it works towards some goal, accomplishment level, dimension, whatever the case may be. And so without the late, great Kobe Bryant, I loved watching him as a player and I didn't pay that much attention to his interviews while he was alive and, and his thoughts, how obsessive he was to make sure that not only was he the best, but he could get to the point where he could share that knowledge, that wisdom, those insights from experience with others. And obviously with technology and having this platform, this arena to really create however we so choose, however we are cataloging our thoughts, sharing our vibrations and our frequencies, you know, to have the freedom to be able to do that, that's liberating, right? And I'm gonna share the quote from Kobe. And he says, doubt is such a strange thing. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there'll be times where you succeed and there'll be times when you fail. So wasting your time doubting whether you're going to be successful or not is pointless. It is. You just put one foot in front of the other, you control what you can control, and then you see what the outcome is, right? If you win, great. I have to wake up the next day and do the journey over again. If you lose, sucks, but you're gonna have to wake up the next day and do the journey all over again anyway. So why are you sitting back and questioning if you can, when you've already came to a place in your life where you know that you deserve more and you know what your story is, maybe right now it's been too painful to even take a peek at it, but what is not looking at it, not acknowledging its existence done for you, but create a deeper pain body. And I was inspired to come up here tonight after being a part of another amazing, empowered and magnetic fireside chat with Sonia Sundara or Dr. Val, but I guess Katie tonight, and my friend Ruby Gonzalez, my sis, my hermana here in H-Town, who always leads the charge. And it's us coming together and it is 13 weeks. We're in the second week talking about grace. And each week signifies a key to unlock love. And every week we share. Last week, the first week was about potential honoring that potential, going into the quantum where everything is available to you, whatever the experience is, positive or negative, you choose. And tonight was about grace and what that actually means to each and every one of us and to have invitations and encouragements to go on your own journey and find out exactly what that means to you. Right, so seeing how in that dynamic of being on camera as well as audio and having a healthy conversation, how impactful that is for others that are in need of it to see. Right, early on in the week with my friend Neil McCullough from Your Open Circle Radio honored me with two hours of his time on his radio show and we talked mindfulness and we both shared our journeys of being at the bottom but still looking into the stratosphere and knowing that we deserved better we were worth more still having to go through life and doubting that self-deprecation and all for years, and this is not a comparative because all you have to do is just sit, listen to my words and just see where these situations line up, where you've fallen flat on your face. In your family's eyes, you're a disgrace. No matter what you put in your mouth, it's a bitter taste. Feeling like your potential is nothing but gone to waste. 
if you had a do over or another sec of hands, you'd switch flop and replace. But you can't. But you can't also fall a victim to that. And I fell a victim to those thoughts for years that had me not taking any sort of action and just pushing people away and being a right asshole because I felt entitled to, because I was drowning in my own ego. So to be at this space where I can speak to you all and share, again, explore your own life, those own corners in your house, in the closet, wherever that darkness lies, where you are afraid to go into that room and face it. You have support here. You may have support in your family. You might not even need to come here in this community, but here in this community, you can be empowered as well. If you allow it, if you're open to it, right? And so having that doubt, there is no room for it. It does you no good. It does not serve you. I was speaking to one of my great friends today. He's like my little brother. His name is Julian. God experiencing Julian here in the wisdom community. Go follow him. I had no idea he had been in this community for a while. And he and I were talking today and it'd been a while since we got on the phone. And he's like, yeah, man, I've been listening to you. I, I saw you, you know, post a lot of stuff about the wisdom app and I listened and people follow me and I've been sharing. And it, we had an amazing conversation about how far in the short amount of time that he and I have known each other and we've supported each other on social media and only had a handful of talks, but those talks are fruitful. They are uplifting. We share in some of the same readings. We share in some of the life goals living in our purpose to serve to help to acknowledge to uplift why because we can we can choose to spend plenty of time in my own dark it's not necessary for me to continue to oscillate and go back there that's the beauty of choice in this world in this universe while we have this time in this present consciousness we can choose to go back and explore and we can sometimes look at that darkness as maybe just going inner. Maybe it's a rabbit hole and maybe it's not scary. That's all a part of that amazing choice. And so he and I were just talking and I was just sharing different scenes. We have a love for some of the same movies as well. And so I shared with him the Matrix scene where Neo went to go see the Oracle and he had an encounter with one of the potentials and the potential that was moving and bending the spoon. And he sees Neo looking at him and he says, do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. There is no spoon then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends only yourself why do i bring that up when it comes to you experiencing change experiencing the desires experiencing the fulfillment that comes from the success the abundance whatever moniker whatever words terms bring about that feeling of you having an elevated emotion that will continue to inspire you and motivate you towards said goal, whatever that means to you, do it, embody it. You have to create a new ideal or else you'll be caught in that same vicious cycle. It took me three decades to really get out of a rut and find some footing and find a place and a space where I can thrive creatively spiritually emotionally mentally building bonds forging friendships that were meant to last acknowledging them guess what i truly understand they're close to eight billion people in the world the vast majority 99 point have a string of nines behind don't give a damn about rodney williams they couldn't give a shit. Why would I give two fucks? 
It's not about that. It's about me sharing this love and sharing my experience and those that it resonates with. Man, come on, this love is free 99. It's on all the time. Stick around, have a laugh. You can see how I put lines together to rhyme. That's what I mean. It's just us being able to share, us being able to do things that maybe we never thought that we could have. And I had my own doubts of, man, am I going to have a fruitful life? Am I going to be a bright light, a beacon to my children? Will they want to follow in my path? Am I creating a blueprint, a framework for them to really be able to go higher than heights? Maybe they even thought that they could. And so that's why I laughed when I first came on and my interaction with Prince Perry, he already knew that no matter what was going to happen, I was going to go live because that's just what we do. We experience this together. And he and I, he's blessing me with the time and the space to join me Saturday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. And we're going to do an ask and an answer. And on the spot, I am curious about that beautiful human being that I'm speaking about, Noble Ron. He is also curious about me. He has done me an honor and interviewed me twice with regard to my creative works. And that is something that I had not ever experienced before in my life from a healthy place and a space to be celebrated like that. And so to be in this place where I'm able to receive that, those accolades, those words, that love, knowing that I give it in abundance the same way, that's fulfillment for me. That's why I, in this community, learning, growing, supporting, giving talks, giving support, giving love, because I've felt it. It's reciprocal at each avenue. And it feels good. That's why there cannot be any doubt. There is no more doubt. I can go back and remember all the times that I doubted going into interviews and smashing the interviews, but getting out into the field and being, ah, losing the passion. Not really, okay, what is this really for? But this is for something. These talks are meaningful for me because it's allowing me to fulfill my own self-prophecy of being the best version of me every single day. It's already a new day somewhere in the world. So why not grab it by the horns? Steer it in whatever direction you choose. Because that's where the magic is of co-creation, of not allowing anything to get in your way. I sent a video to Prince Perry, just a little behind the scenes about before I was going to record. I'm right on the couch in my motor home in, 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 in Pearland, right outside of Houston. I don't need a studio. I don't need the brightest of lights. I have a ring light, I have a USB mic, I have a couple phones to record in different ways. And then away she go, express yourself, liberation. That's one thing that came up multiple times today. I say it all the time, synchronicity is the new normal. And on the Empowered and Magnetic show about grace tonight when Ruby Gonzalez and her sacred surrender and wholeness pulled two cards. The first one was liberation. The second was sanctuary and it pertained to grace. If you don't understand what grace is, look at it from the perspective of those two cards, those two words. It's liberating to know that you are showered with grace, showered with love, that agape love that my personal obsession, healthy obsession is to reach that pinnacle as humanly possible for that agape love so I can spread it, whether you like it or not, it can be overwhelming, that's okay. If it's overwhelming, if it makes you uncomfortable, okay, there's work to be done on all parts. 
right? But to really, truly understand that's my place, that's my mission. That's why I have no problem digging into my recent experiences where a handful of days ago, I was supposed to do a talk and I woke up and the energy was just not there. If I would have come up, it would have been on E and I would have not wanted to put that energy out into the frequency, into the vibration, into the airwaves, truly understanding how I myself am an empath surrounded by beautiful, amazing empaths and we unite. So why would I knowingly put that out, knowing that that could affect someone's day? So I decided to pause, which was much needed and get back on track, get back to some of the things that I've shared on different talks. But what helped me get back into my own physical flow state, which helped with my spiritual alignment, getting back to being out in nature, meditating in yoga. Simple 30, 40 minute meditation guided along with sounds. Another 30, 40 minutes of yoga. Sun salutation A, five times. Sun salutation B, five times. One round of sun salutation A and sun salutation B. So there's 11 total rounds. Right? My goal is to go to 22, do that twice. But I hadn't done it in a while, so why would I kill myself? Why would I cut myself off at the knees? No, taking time, building blocks step by step in the process, having that self-awareness now, where a handful of years ago, I would have run myself into the ground physically, then beat myself up emotionally and mentally for not having optimal results or optimal effort. But it's not about grinding myself into the ground. It's about being able to have a perspective as I am going through this life of mine as a father, as a brother, as a son, getting better every single day, knowing that I'm going to put my best foot forward each and every opportunity that I can. So with what I've experienced just in the sixth month of being in this community, it far exceeds, or far out exceeds and trumps any past pain bodies. I can go back and look and see when I separated myself in my own head, thinking that I was alone, thinking that I had to figure it out, thinking I just had to crawl through my own perception of what mud was being at the bottom but we can all float at the bottom i bring that up i was listening to a song hurricane that featured the weekend and in one of his lyrics towards the end i thought he said floating on the bottom but he said floating on water but just imagine the feeling of floating on the bottom of water and being able to look up into the stratosphere and envision exactly where it is that you want to go. So again, there is no room for doubt. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Set aside some time daily of silence intentionally that where you can just be and breathe and see what you feel see what you hear and then set in motion whatever those desires are just take some actionable steps that way you can yield some results like in the quote from the late great kobe bryant control what you can control see what the outcome is pass or fail you're still gonna have to get up and dive into the journey once again and over and over again. And so I wanna thank you for lending me your ears, opening up your hearts, your minds, allowing your soul to expand a little bit. 
as I share and bear my soul with each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for just showing up, being intricately you, magnificently you, even if you currently don't feel it. Some point you have to, or else you'll be right where you are. If you're comfortable with that, that is your choice. But if you want some change, honor that new concept, that new idea of that change in you, and that you are capable of it. It's going to take some work, but that's the craftsmanship, falling in love with the work. It's you. If you aren't going to do it, then who is? So take every opportunity to do just that. Leave no vacancy, no room, no doubt, no Gwen Stefani, because underneath it all, we are connected. And we come from that universal consciousness that is love. And we are already a part of a shift a positive shift towards embracing each other with non-judgment, helping each other find that scope of vision, take uncomfortable action, fall in love with the craftsmanship, the work, have the consistency, feel empowered from our past, celebrating the wins as angelic queen of kudos herself, Cecilia Grace, we celebrate all of our wins. And then that sacred surrender, honoring that, honoring that inner voice, honoring your own journey, forgiving yourself. That's what part of grace is, that compassion, that acceptance, that forgiveness of self first. And then you can work on being that light in others' lives, sharing freely allowing yourself to be the most authentic version of you and then significance finding meaning in what it is that you do regardless of any sort of material gain just knowing that the music is flowing freely from you and others are able to receive it, just like whomever will hear this recording, my voice, it could be 50 years from now, 100 years from now. And if it is meant to shine a light on their life, then I know that my voice, this episode, fell right into the space where it was needed. So thank you again for your time. Thank you again for your love. I'm Rodney Williams. This is my flow state.